How's your energy Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Call up the 94th edition of the Territorial Cup is now in the books as the Arizona Wildcats were hoping to prevent Arizona State's winning streak from jumping to four games. The Wildcats were also hoping to end that dreaded 11 game losing streak overall and from the get go. It did not look good for Arizona. DJ Taylor will receive the opening kickoff deep in the end zone and most figured he would take a knee, but not DJ Taylor and right off the bat. He is gone with the wind. Pew, pew, pew. Just a few seconds into the game and Arizona already trails 7 to 0. Grant Gunnell would get the start of quarterback off of the injury and on the first pitch, Gary Brightwell drops the ball and ASU recovers on U of A's own four yard line. One play later, Chip Trainum will put it in for ASU. 56 seconds into the game, the Wildcats are already trailing 14 to zip. And on the next possession, not much better for the Wildcats. Gunnell's pass will be intercepted by ASU's Kyle Solis. A second turnover. The Sun Devils would move the ball up and Quarterback Jaden Daniels is about to juke his way forward from 20 yards out. He'd be spinning and grinning. The touchdown puts ASU up 21-0, but the Cats would move the ball down the field. And Arizona has uh, had the ball on the two-yard line, but they were about to put it in. You saw the exchange between Gunnell and Brightwell fumbled. ASU recovers, and Arizona loses a golden opportunity. After that, Rashad White from ASU will take full advantage. My oh my, this game Got out of hand very, very fast. He will take it 93 yards to the house. Arizona State already leads 28-0 with 11.45 left in the second quarter. And on the next possession, Gunnell is about to be hit and the ball will come loose once again. Another turnover by the Wildcats. Tyler Johnson from ASU recovers. After trailing 42-0 in the first half, Grant Gunnell was replaced by Will Plummer and he'll lead the Cats down the field as Michael Wiley takes it in for Arizona's first score with 338 left in the first half. Still, the four turnovers, in, uh, turnovers rather in the first half did the Cats in. The Wildcats lose big. Final score, 70-7. to So, what next for the Arizona Wildcats? That is the golden question. News 4 Tucson's very own David Kelly was at the game filming every play and he joins us live once again with more from Arizona Stadium. Hey, thanks, Paul. As bad a start as you could have asked for here tonight, as you mentioned, the Wildcats down two touchdowns before the first minute of this game had even expired. So the golden question of the night after the game, were these Wildcats prepared tonight to play in what turned out to be a 70 to 7 loss to the rival Sun Devils? I mean, yeah, I feel like we were ready to play. We were prepared, but I mean, not much to say. I mean, it's embarrassing, really. Six turnovers, can't throw interceptions, can't can't have fumbles that turn into 35, 42 points. Can't win with six turnovers. You know, our inability to bounce back from the turnovers, giving them short fields to score early. Um, you know, you, you, no matter what your emotional level is, when, when you turn the ball over like that, particularly early in the game uh, with short fields, you know, it, it's it's not a good recipe. From your perspective, what was the overall team's mood after the game? After the game, it was not great. It's not good. Um, we know we're still family, but it's not good. Yeah, Bryce Wallman said, Wallace had six turnovers because, you know, after you commit so many, you lose count. It was actually seven. And the Sun Devils turned that into 35 points. So one more chance potentially for the Wildcats to End this season on a good note. They'll play in the sixth place game. That's what's supposed to happen. That game will be next weekend against either Cal or Washington State. Again, your final here tonight at the stadium.